This conference will now be recorded. I was special to tell you the district regular call meeting September 2nd, 2021 at uh, 6 p.m. Call to order. Ivan Sandoval. Present. Maribel Diaz. Absent. Smeraldo Solis. Absent. Lloyd Loya. Present. Cesar Rodriguez. Present. Rafael Reaga. We do have a quorum. Uh, item 1B, public comments. Yeah, yeah, yeah. Okay. Item uh, 2, uh, minutes. Item A, approval of corrected minutes for May 6, 2021, our board meeting. So moved. I have a motion by Sondoval. I need a second. Second. Second by Cesar. All in favor, signal by saying aye. 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 Any opposed? Motion carries. Item 2B, approval of minutes. Of May 24, 2021, our special utility special board meeting. So uh, I have a motion by Cesar. Second. Second. Second by Sandoval. I'm sure we're about by saying aye. Aye. Any opposed? Motion carries. Mr. Board President, at this time, I'd like to make a motion to move to suspend the rules and consider item 7, 4, 11, and by. Okay. I have a motion by Lloyd Loya. Second. Second by. By, by Tessa. All in favor, signal by saying aye. Aye. Any opposed? Motion carries. Item number seven, discussion of possible action or resolution setting public hearing to consider amendments to land use assumptions, capital improvement plan, and impact fees. Uh, Mr. President, uh, I understand that the, the board would is considering uh, the land use assumptions and the impact fee that the district charges. That process is governed by the local government code, chapter 395. In order for the district to do that, there has to be a public hearing that the board must set and approve. That public hearing must be on 30 days notice after it's published uh, in the newspaper. Right? There are some other requirements, such as the committee that's been appointed and it's already met has to provide uh, written comments uh, five days prior the district must also make the proposed capital improvement plan amendment, LUA amendment, and the proposed or contemplated impact fee change available to the public the day before or the day of the notice of the hearing goes into effect. Um, so if the quickest that that could possibly happen, based on my understanding of when the newspaper can publish a notice, would be the hearing would be held on October 8th. Um, notice could be published in the paper this coming Wednesday, September 8th. 30 days from there would be October 8th, right? Which would mean that the district would need to make the proposed CIP and LUA and impact be available to the public. They could post it on our website before September 8th. There is a, a resolution that has been presented as part of the board packet that would uh, authorize the district to provide that notice, take those steps to have the public hearing necessary to comply with the local government code, and uh, then the board could consider at a later time whether or not the impact fee uh, would be changed or not. Um, that's that's what item number seven relates to. I'm available. Any questions anybody has about that process? Uh, me, I'm available. Yeah. Are we good? I move to approve item seven. Okay, I have a motion by Lord Lawyer. Second. Second by Sandoval. All in favor, signal by saying aye. Aye. Any opposed? Motion carries. Just, just, just for clarity, would that be to set it for October 8th? I move to uh, approve item seven and have it uh, October 8th and have it published by September 8th. Okay. Okay. That's my motion. Okay. Okay. So so I have to let's let's just take another vote on that. Okay, okay. I have a motion by Lord Lawyer. Second by Sandoval, on favor, signal by saying aye. 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 Any opposed? Motion carries. Item uh, number four, discussion possible action and resolution accepting all project infrastructure and officially closing construction project energy concrete construction in Bravo Sets Palmview Wastewater Collection System Phase One, Group B and F. Uh, yes, Mr. President, members of the board. This is uh, a resolution is needed when a project is closed out with the Water Development Board, so the board needs to take action so we can send, send the resolution as well as the 
with all the documentation that's required for it, which we already have. We also need to make sure we approve. Dave Bennett, if, if the resolution gets approved, then once that gets approved, we send that as well. But we're just trying to close out the paperwork with uh, with this project with LED, uh, one of the four phases. That doesn't mean that items aren't under warranty. Uh, we met with them yesterday. There are some deficiencies that they're correcting or warranting. So they are still going to be addressing those. It's just that we need to go through the paperwork closed. So we're asking for approval of the resolution to accept the project infrastructure and program. I spoke with Mr. Chapman. Uh, he's not attending the meeting today, but Mr. Chapman prepared our, our lawyer that's handling uh, the construction project. He prepared um, the resolution that's in the board packet and it meets in the group. I move to approve the resolution accepting all project infrastructure and officially closing out the construction project with LNG construction, concrete construction, and I have a motion by Lord Lawyer, second by Sessa. All in favor, signal by saying aye. Any opposed? Motion carries. Item number 11, discuss some possible action regarding escrow agreement with City of Solomon, Solomon City, pertaining to materials for water line to the City Library. Yeah, Mr. Members of the board, as you all may know, uh, the City of Solomon City is undergoing a, uh, a uh, City Library improvement project, and there is a water line connection that needs to be made and extension to be able to have adequate fire protection and service to the building. Uh, as, as a governmental entity, uh, we always try to help, and what they're asking for is, is to allow us to use our prices that we buy for materials at our cost, and the city will put up an escrow in the amount of that cost to be able to purchase. That way it reduces profit and overhead the contractor does, and uh, the city will be going out for bids for the neighbor and equipment only that's required. So, so I, I know I'm not sure we have the mayor here uh, uh, as well, but uh, it's something we've done before. Uh, so we just you know, trying to help out the even neighbor and, and help them out with keeping the cost down to bring a library to the right. I move to approve the escrow agreement with City of Solomon City to turn into the material for water line for the city library. I have a motion by Lord Lawyer. Second. I have a second by Seth All in favor, signal by saying aye. Aye. Any opposed? Motion carries. Item number five, discuss the possible action on resolution amending the Alvesad Employee Policy Handbook. Mr. President, there at the request of um, Nancy Zapata, the Director of Human Resources, we undertook a review Thank you, of the employee policy manual uh, that was in place for the district. Um, the, the vast majority of the changes came from the recommendations of the Human Resources Department. From a legal standpoint, we then went and looked at the recommendations that the Texas Workforce Commission publishes for employee manuals for government uh, entities. There were uh, a few other select changes that were made. All of the, the board members, the, the, there was a red line of it emailed out last week, so I think everybody's had an opportunity to take a look at it. So from from a, the, the other change that was made was to bring it in. Uh, there was uh, one inconsistency with the employee manual um, that uh, related to the hiring and firing of employees. It mentioned that the board has that authority. The statute, by statute, that's a job of general manager. We made that uh, correction. Um, if, if there's any particular questions about any of the changes uh, that were made, I'm, I'm glad to, to, to answer them. But like I said, what we've done is we've brought our employee policy up to date, brought it in compliance with the our enabling legislation and recommendations by the special. Because the board set policy for the district, it was uh, my view that it would be appropriate to take uh, that employee policy manual to the board for uh, consideration. Okay. I can also add to that uh, the, uh, the employee uh, supervisors that were part of the makeup of, of the committee making these recommendations and presented them to the committee uh, members as well. So we had some extensive uh, uh, discussions and presentations and recommendations. I think uh, it's something that that the, the employees are, are okay with, and, and obviously you know, for you all as well. One thing that we are adding out there is that we're making sure that there.
there is cross training between departments so that if we take somebody's out of there, that somebody else can just sit in and take care of that responsibility. Okay. Do all employees notify us of this uh, item? The employees were notified of the changes of the. Well, they were sent to the supervisor, and the supervisor is then they are supposed to. Was there like a feedback? So there's a committee. Um, mm -hmm. the, the, I understand the supervisor can meet with us. Yeah, they go back to the coins and then they, they brought it back all the feedback that they, if they got any. So we, we, we met about three times. Any other questions? Comments? I move to approve the resolution amending the WhatsApp employee policy handbook. Motion made by lawyer. Second. Second by Sandoval. All in favor, second by saying aye. Aye. Any opposed? Motion carries. We need a motion for adjournment at 610. Mm -hmm. uh, motion by Sandoval. Second. I have the uh, second by Tessa. All in favor, signify by saying aye. Aye. Any opposed? Motion carries.